Hi, I'm Professor Murray, and today I'm going to install CodeSys on my old laptop. What I'm going to do is find the website, download the software, install it on my on my old laptop. It's uh, this laptop's probably six years old. It's a pretty decent laptop, but it's certainly not new and it's not the fastest. But Let's see how it works. Right now it's uh, 8 minutes after 9 o'clock in the morning and we'll see how long it takes to get this done. The first thing we need to do is go to the CodeSys website and CodeSys, they're a European company but they have offices in the United States and so we're going to go to the United States website and download from there. I'm not sure if there's any difference, but since they have a an American presence, we might as well go to them. So let's look for CodeSys USA. And when I do that search, it comes up with the parent website, and that's in Europe. I don't want that one. I want this North America one. So I'm going to click on that. And that goes to us.store.codesys.com. That's the one I want to be at. Now, right on the home page, you can see they've got this version 3. And then if you go down a little lower, they have a, a lot of other products. And some are free, some are for licensing or one-time purchase. We're going to only use this free version. And they have both a 32 and a 64-bit version. I tried the 64-bit version on my other computer, and it wasn't working properly for me. The 32-bit version worked, so let's just use the 32-bit version. You can play around with the other one if you want, but I know the 32-bit version is working. So let me click on that. Download. And it brings up a screen. You have to either log in or you have to create an account. So the account's free. You're going to have to create an account. I've already done that, so I'm going to sign in. And they want you to allow cookies. That's fine. We can always go and uh, clear our cache later and get rid of their cookies. Okay, download 32-bit. Brings up their licensing agreement. We'll accept that. And the download is starting. So that started at 11 minutes after 9. And I'm going to pause the video for now and I'll come back once it's downloaded. Alright, I'm back. That took about two minutes. It's 13 after 9 right now. I started at 11 after 9. And it's showing up here in my bar. But before I launch that, let's go take a look at it. I'll open up my downloads folder. And here it is. And it looks like it's about 1.3 gig. So it's not, it's not small, but it's not super huge. Okay, I'm going to click on that guy. And I've got Norton on my computer, and that's checking it to see if it's safe. Norton says it's safe. So, once it's decided that it's happy, it's probably gonna, going to let it run. There we go. And I'll click Yes. And it looks like it's starting to install. So right now it's 14 minutes after 9. Alright, I'm back. The download portion finished. That took about a minute or so, so I paused the video there for a bit. And let's see what it's doing now. Computing space requirements. I'm also running Camtasia on this computer. That's how I'm recording all this. And that might be taking up a chunk of the computer's resources. So it may be faster. It might be slower for you too, depending on your computer power. Okay, click Next, accept the agreement, Next again, I've read that information, and it's going to install it under Program Files x86, and it's going to call the folder CodeSys 3.5.16.10. Okay, 
that's fine. Put it there in the default location. Let's let's see what's what the options are under custom. Part of the thing with with when you install software, especially freeware, if you do their complete installation, they sometimes package other things. Like they might package a, a real common one is McAfee virus detection software. And McAfee will pay different companies to bundle their software with their installations. And that way they get a little bit of payment from McAfee to just roll it in with their stuff. Uh, so it's always generally best to click on custom. Let's see what the options are. And it looks like it's all code sys stuff. I don't know what all these different components are. So I'm going to keep them all. Mainly I just wanted to see if they were bundling something else in there that I didn't want to have, like McAfee virus protection. Okay, I'll hit next. And install. So that started at 918. The first bit was downloading all the software. And now the software is on my machine and it's installing it. So we'll see how long that takes. Starting at 9.18, I guess I'll pause the video now for a little bit because I don't know how long this is going to take. Hi, I'm back. Wow, that took a long time. It's 9.44 now, so I have to look back to see when I started it, but it seems like that took at least 20 minutes. And it looked like it was just stalled, but eventually it kept going, so... I even uh, I took a break, had a cup of coffee. Coffee's all gone. So anyway, I guess best thing to do when you're hitting that install point is just walk away and go do something else for half an hour. Let's see what we got. So it says it finished. Click finish. And I think that's it. I think it's installed. So let's go take a look. I'll click on the start icon here. And... Let's scroll down and find code sys. Here it is. Now, when we open this, it's got a whole bunch of applications that we installed. And usually the way I launch this, because I can never remember which one to do, is I just type in the search bar down here, down at the bottom. I just type code sys. And I guess this is it. Code sys control win win for Windows version v3. So let's open that. And that's not what I needed. So let me try again. I guess this is it. Code Sys version 3.5 service pack 16 patch 1. Let's try that guy. Now one of the nice things, or a few nice things about Code Sys, one is that it has different languages built in. So we can use uh, ladder logic, we can use function block diagram, we can use structured text for doing our programming. The other thing is, it interfaces with factory I.O. So we should be able to make scenes on factory I.O. and run code sys right on one laptop. Uh, we don't need any external PLC to make it all work. That's the theory. And we'll, we'll be trying that. Okay, everything looks good. I'm going to just open a new project. I'll hit new project and it gives you some options here. We're going to go with standard project. We'll just leave the name as untitled one for now. This is where it's going to put this project, so that's fine for now. And we'll see if it's going to run. Okay, so here, the device it's going to use, we're going to leave it at the default. So, Code sys control Windows version 3 and 
We'll just leave it at that default with smart software solutions. The other is, the other line here, it's starting off defaulting with structured text. Maybe we want to use laddered logic instead. Doesn't really matter at this point because we can add in more routines and make them whatever language we want. So I'm going to hit OK. And it's building out the project to get started. Okay, so everything seems to be working. Next, we're going to work at uh, making some programs in this. And we can do a few neat things with it. One is there's a visualizer built right into CodeSys where we can put in lights and buttons and switches right on the CodeSys application. And we can run a virtual uh, PLC environment right on the laptop. You can connect it with factory I.O. so we can run a different simulation software with it. And you could even connect it with a PLC. We're probably not going to do that. But anyway, pretty neat program. It's set up a lot different than Studio 5000. But once you kind of get the feel of it, you can recognize how it's really doing the same sorts of things that Studio 5000 is doing. It's just got a little bit different look and feel to it. That's it for the video. It's now 9.50. So I started at around 8 minutes after 9, I think it was. So it takes close to an hour to get this installed and running. But it's free. It seems to work pretty well. And did I mention it's free? That's one of the best parts. All right. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you in the next video. Thanks.